All right, algebra one, eight dash six, solving x squared plus bx plus c equals zero. All right, so this is a standard form of a parabola. Standard form, common, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna figure out how to solve this. And here is our example. Remember how FOIL, if we had um, an example like this, x plus three, x plus four. And we would FOIL this out, remember? So we would end up with, um, we'd, we'd multiply the first, outside, inside, last. In whatever order, doesn't matter, just as long as all of this happens. So we would end up with x uh, squared plus four x plus three x plus 12. So we multiply all that together, then we combine these like terms here. x squared plus 7x plus 12. Okay, now let's see if you can see any, anything. Um, if I look at this, these two binomials, and I look at this trinomial, you should see some um, relationship between these numbers here the 3 and the 4, and the 7 and the 12. So if you were in class, I would try to get you guys to sh tell me the relationship that you see here. And hopefully, what you would see is that you add these two together. You add together to get this seven. So three plus four is seven. And then you take these and you multiply them together. To get the 12, three plus four is seven, three times four is 12. And so if I were to start with this trinomial and and get it back into this factored form, I decide what do I add together to get seven and those same numbers multiply them to get 12. And that's how I um, factor a trinomial. All right, so let's start with an example. We're gonna factor. Here's my example. I've got um, x squared plus nine x plus 20. So here's um, one way to factor this. So I'm going to say, uh, here are my factors of 20. We'll start with those. So factors of 20. So I've got one times 20, and I've got um, two times 10, and four times five. Um, are there any other factors of 20? I think that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna look at these factors here, and I'm going to um, add them together to see if I can find something that I multiply together to get 20, add together to get nine. One plus 20 is 21, two plus 10 is 12, four plus five is nine. Hey, we have our answer here. Four plus five is nine. So that means my factored version is x plus four, x plus five. I take these two numbers, four, five, boom. There I am, factored. Let's do another one. I've got d squared plus 11d plus 24. So I'm gonna list the factors of 24. Sometimes, you know, as you, as you get, if you practice this, um, you can kind of start doing this in your head. Factors of 24, and then I'm gonna add them together over here. So I didn't write add over here, I probably should. Okay, factors of 24. Um, let's see, one times 24, I've got uh, two times 12, three times eight, um, four times six, I think that's all of them, right? Yeah, okay, one times, uh, one plus 24 is 25, that's not 11, I'm looking for 11 here. Two plus 12 is 14, 3 plus 8, that's 11. All right, and uh, 4 plus 6 is 10. So 11, that's the one I want. D plus 3, D plus 8. So I just take these two terms, these two numbers, and I plug them in here. There's my factored version. 
Let's do it. We're going to do some more. Um, I'm going to have you do two on your own. Why not? Alrighty. T squared plus 10T plus 9 and X squared plus 10X plus 25. All right, do those two. List the factors of 9, list the factors of 25, see what, see what numbers you multiply together to get 9, add together to get 5. Multiply together to get 25, add together to get 10. All right, go. Okay, let's see how you did. All right, factors of 9. So I've got um, 1 times 9, and I've got 3 times 3. Oops, 3 times 3. 1 plus 9 is 10. Hey, we got it already. So t plus 1, t plus 9. I multiply them together to get 9, add them together to get 10. If I were to FOIL this out, I would end up with this trinomial. Same with all of these. If you wanted to check your work, FOIL these binomials, and you should end up with this trinomial. Same thing with all of those. Let's see how you did on this one. Um, what do I multiply together to get 5 at uh, 25, add together to get 10? You should have gotten x plus 5, x plus 5. I multiply 5 together to get 5, I add 5 together to get uh, 10. Now, when you get something like this where these are both the same, you can rewrite this as x plus 5 squared. <clears throat> this is the more correct way to write this answer. Okay, notice how these are all kind of, these are kind of the easier ones because they all just have positive. They're all positive, they all just have plus. Now we're gonna do stuff with some minus. All right, x squared minus eight x plus 12. Okay, starting to get a little more tricky here. What do I multiply together to get positive 12 and add together to get negative eight. Now when you have, uh, let's see, factors of 12. When you have a positive um, 12 or a positive uh, number over here, constant, that doesn't have a variable, and a negative um, coefficient here next to this variable, then you know that this one is going to have two negative numbers. Two negatives make a positive, and when you add two negatives, it makes a negative. If you multiply two negatives, you get a positive. When you add two negatives, you get a negative. So I know that my factors are going to be negative. So um, factors of 12, negative 1 times negative 12, that'll get me positive 12. Negative 2 times negative 6, That'll get me a positive 12 if I multiply those together. Negative 3 and negative 4. Okay, let's add these together. Negative 1 and negative 12, negative 13. Negative 2 and negative 6, that's negative 8. Oh, that's what I want. x minus 2, x minus 6. There's my factored version of that one. All right, let's do... Um, Let's have you guys do one without me. It's going to look very similar to this one. X squared, oops, I did X, but oh, it's fine. Minus 11X plus 28. All right, so you know this one's positive and this one's negative, so both of your factors are going to be negative. All right, uh, go. Let's see how you did. All right, so we can list our factors. Um, or we can just say x, x. So if you listed your factors, that's great. But now I'm, I'm just going to talk through it. What do I multiply together to get positive 28? Add together to get negative 11. I know um, 7 and 4 give me 11, and 7 times 4 gives me 28. I know they both need to be negative, N minus 4 minus 7. That'll get me negative 11 when I add them together. That'll get me positive 28 when I multiply them together. All right, we got a lot more factoring to do. Let's do another example. 
But that now you've got the concept here, hopefully, and um, these all just follow that same concept. But now we're just putting the negative in different spots. So now I've got a negative here in my constant and a positive here in my um, coefficient there. And so I'm not sure which one is going to be negative and which one is going to be positive. But I know that one of them is going to be negative and one is going to be positive. Because this, if they were both negative, then this would be positive. If they were both positive, then this would be positive. So um, I know that one is negative and one's positive. Okay. So um, we can um, think about the factors of 15, negative 15. So I've got negative 1 and positive 15. That'll get me positive 15 when I multiply them together. 1 times negative 15. That'll get me a negative 15. Uh, 3 and 5, right? So negative 3 times 5, and positive 5, and then negative, oops, positive 3 times negative 5. Those are all, when I multiply them together, I'll get negative 15. Now let's add these together. Negative 1 and 15, that'll give me 14. Positive 1 and negative 15, that'll give me negative 14. Negative 3 and 5, that's positive 2. N positive 3 and negative 5, that gives me negative 2. All right, and I want positive 2, so that's this one. So I've got negative 3, positive 5, x minus 3, x plus 5. And that is the factored form of this. If I wasn't sure, I wanted to check my work, foil this out, you should get this same answer when you foil this out. All right, you try one. y squared plus 6y minus 16. All right, what do I multiply together to get negative 16? Add together to get positive 6. Go. Okay, let's see how you did. Um, after this, we've got one, two, three, four more examples. So we're getting through this. Okay, multiply together to get 16, add to get negative 16, add together to get um, 6, positive 6. Okay, so I know that um, 2 and 8, when I multiply 2 and 8, I get 16, and 8 minus 2 is 6. Okay, I want a positive 6, so I'm going to say I'm going to add 8, subtract 2. So I've got 8 times negative 2 gives me negative 16. Positive 8 plus a negative 2 gets me positive 6. You can foil that out and make sure that you got that right. Okay, let's do another example. This one, I've got x squared minus 7x minus 18. So for these ones, notice how when this was positive, the larger number was positive. The greater number was positive, And the lesser number was negative. Um, now, and this one, I'm going to have a negative 7. And I have this negative. Um, out here, so remember, I'm going to have one negative and one positive in this factoring here. So um, the larger one, or the, the greater one, is going to need to be negative because I'm going to end up with a negative when I add them together. So I'm going to think about these. Uh, am I going to write them all out? I don't think I'm going to write them all out. I'm going to just think about it. Okay, I'm going to think about some terms that multiply together to get 18, add together, or subtract from one another to get 7. So 2 and 9 will get me 18, and if I subtract them, I'll get 7. Okay, so I'm going to have a 2 and a 9. I know that's going to happen. One of them these needs to be positive, and one needs to be negative, um, because i got to get to 7. And I need it to be a negative 7. So that means if I have a positive 2 and a negative 9, uh, negative 9 plus 2, negative 7. 2 times negative 9, negative 18. I have done my factoring job. Now you try one. r squared minus 2r minus 24. All right, you can write all your factors out if you want, or if you can kind of talk through it to yourself and think about it, it's okay to just find the factors that way as well. All right, go. Okay, let's see how you did here. I'm going to have r times r something, something. Um, 24 and 2. So um, 
24 into, what do I multiply together to get 24 and add together or subtract from each other to get negative 2? I think 6 and 4 probably, right? 6 and 4. 6 and 4 get me 24. And then I subtract 4 from 6 to get 2. But I want a negative 2, so that means I need a negative 6 and a positive 4. When I add those together, negative 6 and positive 4, I get negative 2. When I multiply, I get negative 24. So that is my answer there. Okay, we've got two more samples, uh, examples to do. And this time we're going to solve. So we're going to use that zero product property when we solve these. x squared plus 6x equals 27. All right, let's see how we do. So I'm going to subtract 27 from both sides. I want this to be equal to zero. x squared plus 20, uh, 6x minus, oops, 27 equals zero. So I subtracted 27 from each side. Now I have this trinomial that should look familiar to these other ones that I've been working on. Now I'm just going to factor this. I'm going to have an x and another x equals zero. What do I multiply together to get negative 27? Add together to get positive 6. So um, let's see, I'm going to have, I know that uh, 3 and 9 will get me 27. And if I subtract them, then I get 6. Okay, so, and I need this to be positive 6, so I'm going to add 9 and subtract 3. Um, 9 times negative 3, negative 27. Positive 9 minus 3, or plus a negative 3, is positive 6. Okay, great. Now, I need to solve it. So I just say 9 plus, uh, x plus 9 is 0, and x minus 3 equals 0. Three, uh, 0 product property. Uh, uh, subtract 9 from both sides, x equals negative 9. Add 3 to both sides, x equals positive 3. So if I were to graph this, I would have a negative 9 over here, positive 3 here. Um, that's where my parabola would be crossing the x-axis. Um, those are my solutions, or my roots, my zeros. One more. Same thing x squared plus 3x equals 18. Solve this um, for x. Go. Okay, let's see how you did here. I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. x squared plus 3x minus 18 equals 0. What do I multiply together to get negative 18? Add together to get positive 3. Okay, let's see here. So 18, I've got um, 6 times 3. Oh, 6 and 3, that'll get me a 3 if I subtract the right way. All right. And so I've got 6 and I've got 3. That'll get me 18. 6 minus 3 will get me a positive 3. So that means I want a positive 6. Negative 3 equals 0. Now I set each of these equal to 0. Each of these binomials equal to 0. Subtract 6 x equals negative 6, add 3, x equals positive 3. And those are my solutions. Now, um, you might see it in the book, we might write it like this, actually, x equals, and then we have this fancy parenthesis guy here, 6 and 3. This is not a point here, 6, 3, These are, this is the list of the solutions um, for this set here. This is a solution set. So yeah, we can write it both of these different ways. Um, they both mean the same thing. And that is 8-6. All right. Good luck on your homework.